working to end sexual violence against people with disability. Hello, I'm Dr Jess Cadwallader. I'm the Advocacy Project Manager on a project at People with Disability Australia. We're supporting children and adults with disability to engage with the work of the Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse. The Royal Commission was set up to find out why child sexual abuse happens in institutions, what the problems are with how institutions respond to child sexual abuse and how to change institutions to stop child sexual abuse from happening. We're funded by the Department of Social Services to provide support to people with disability who want to share their story with the Royal Commission. The project is made up of three parts, individual advocacy, training, and systemic advocacy and policy work. This video will introduce you to the key staff members on our team and what they are doing on the project. Individual advocacy. Hi, I'm Lindy. I'm an individual advocate at PWDA. We provide support and individual advocacy for adults and children with disability who want to be part of the Royal Commission we have experience in supporting people who have had major trauma in their lives. We've helped people to tell their own personal story to the Royal Commission, and we can help you with that too. We can help you write your story about what happened to you. We can be there if you want to tell your story to the Commission, and we can be with you if you want to report the crimes against you to the police. If you've had something awful happen to you, it can make living really hard. We can assist you if you want to make big changes in your life. For lots of people who have experienced trauma, making change can be overwhelming. We know how the service system works, so we can link you up with other services you might want, such as legal advice and counselling. It doesn't matter where you live across Australia. We're here to support anybody. Training. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm the Training Manager at People with Disability Australia. Hey, my name is Mel. I'm the Training Officer and Individual Advocate at PWDA. People with disability who may have been sexually abused as children are not always able to understand and recognise and talk about what they have experienced. Sometimes people with disability haven't had education about their rights, especially their sexual rights and knowing what sexual abuse is. The training we're providing is to fill this gap and to help people with disability understand what sexual abuse is and that it's not okay. We've been running training for people with disability about their sexual and human rights for many years. Often when people with disability attend this training, stories come out about the abuse, neglect and violence that's happened throughout their lives. As trainers, Mel and I are experienced at providing assistance to people with disability who have been sexually abused. We ensure that everyone who attends training feels safe and supported. We'll also be making training available for families, parents and carers of people with disability. Also disability service providers and government funded services who are supporting the Royal Commission. This training is at no cost for people who attend. So if you're interested in finding out more, please contact us at People with Disability Australia. Policy and Systemic Issues, Dr Jess Cadwallader. Hi again. Part of my role on this project is to make sure that the Royal Commission hears the voices of all people with disability affected by child sexual abuse. I also look at the big picture, how institutions work, why they tend to make children with disability vulnerable to sexual abuse, and what alternatives might make them safer. I am consulting with lots of people with disability, their representative groups and other stakeholders so that I can provide detailed policy advice to the Royal Commission. We are providing a disability lens on the issues the Royal Commission is already considering, like out of home care, schools and redress. We are also drawing their attention to some of the key issues that we think need to be addressed to make sure children with disability are safer. These are segregation, access to justice, sex and relationships education, restrictive practices and the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Thanks for your interest. For more information on any of the parts of this project, please visit our website and join our mailing list. And finally, if you are a person with disability and you are thinking about telling your story to the Royal Commission, please do contact our individual advocates. Visit rcsupport.pwd.org.au